Hello, Corinne Sutherland here with Sweet and Sassy Stamps. I'm just going to briefly show you today how to crop your digital stamps within Microsoft Word. This is a question I get asked pretty frequently because we do sell sentiment sets and digital stamp sets where there would be more than one image or more than one sentiment. And we don't always want to use the whole set at one time. So this little tutorial is going to show you how easy it is to crop out each individual uh, sentiment or image from your digital stamp set. Um, what you see here is Microsoft Word. I have my screen open here. I'm going to go up to Insert, Picture, and I'm going to select the digital stamp that I want to that I want to crop out today. I'm going to choose Fair Get Well Wishes here and there it is. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do first things first is you want to right click this digital stamp, go up here to wrap text and then select square because when you first insert your image it's you can't move it around anywhere it's just stuck there so by doing this, you're able to now move it around on your sheet wherever you want it to be. Okay, I'm going to leave it over here for now just because that's, that's fine that it's there. And I'm going to show you how now to crop it. We're going to go over here to where it says crop. And I'm going to click that. Now I'm going to get a different looking box. It has four bold corners and then in the centers it has four bold lines. To crop I'm going to click on the corner and I'm going to drag down and now you can see I have cropped out I've selected just the bottom sentiment. Now I'm going to click crop again and you can see that the other ones are gone. Now I select and drag wherever I want it. You can move it wherever you want it to be. I'm going to put it over here for now. But now you may wonder, well, what happened to the other sentiments? Well, we can get those back. We just have to go back and insert picture again and just select it again. Okay, so now we have, there it is again. But again, I can't move it. It's stuck, so I have to go in to wrap text and select square again. Now I can move it where I want. Okay, so now we're going to crop again. We're going to crop out the middle sentiment. All right, now we, we have to drag down, but I still have that bottom one in there, so I need to start at the bottom this time and work my way up to the middle. And now you can see that is selected and crop again. And now we've got the second sentiment. And then one last time, because I'd like that bottom, or I'd like that top sentiment to be in here too. Now you can see it's under here, but I can't move it again because I need to go in and select square wrap text. And now I can move it again. Okay? So, Final cropping. This time I need to start at the bottom. Okay, selected my top one, crop, and there it is. Now, if you'd like to fill your whole page with sentiments, because you don't want to waste paper, that's what I would do, you can actually now copy and paste these sentiments, duplicate them by right clicking the sentiment, going up here to copy, and then come over here and click wherever, the cursor is just going to go wherever it wants, and then hit paste. Now we have two of them. Okay, do the same thing up here for this one, copy, Paste. And 
drag that where you want it. Now on these, because you're copying and pasting um, ones that already have the wrap text set to square, it's going to, that's already going to be done with the ones that you paste. So we could just fill this entire page with these sentiments if we, if we wanted to. The other thing I want to just show you real quick is while this one is selected, you can also resize these by simply dragging the corner in and out to whatever size you want. Okay? So I hope you find that helpful today, and I'll catch you next time.